Hey everybody, today Rado previews a prototype of Galaxy Hunters. But before I begin, please turn your subtitles onto the Klingon channel so that if I make any rules goofs, you know what they are. And of course, I'm not Rado, I'm Shay Parker. I'm helping Rado cover even more games, and today we are looking at Galaxy Hunters. So let's go to the galaxy. Uh, here we are in space. We've got plenty of planets to go to. And what we are are giant mech pilots. You know, we're piloting these Gundams around, and we are saving the world, or saving the galaxy, from these mutants that are going to be invading the various systems. We've got our... Uh, our big mech, we also got a pilot. And uh, what that gives us is uh, certain abilities. Um, each pilot has four special abilities, but depending on the mech that you are linking in, you will only get two of them. So this one, for example, their guns are do less energy and they get extra reputation for killing monsters. So we are going to be going around killing monsters and seeing who is going to be the uh, who's going to get the most victory points based on who kills the monsters the best or the mutants I should say, and uh, we are going to be doing this by actually a worker placement game. We are going to be sending our our ships to uh, different places on the board, getting the resources and bonuses that they provide us. We're going to get a lot of upgrades. You can see all these upgrade tiles on the side, um, and we're going to be slotting these upgrades into our ship and our pilot space. And these are going to give us a lot of really cool uh, abilities that we're going to get. So uh, let's jump in. I've got my left brain on the green player and my right brain on the yellow player. And uh, we have got some galaxies to save, or one galaxy to save by hunting. So, uh, oh, and one last thing we have is uh, we've got a headhunter card. Now, these we start with uh, one of these, but we can also acquire more. Um, by getting them in the corner. And these are telling us which mutants we want to hunt. For example, if I can hunt one mutant of a black, purple, blue, and orange variety, I'll get seven points at the end of the game. Whereas the other player, right, Brain's looking to get three DNA uh, from black mutants. And if you look at the mutants that are uh, in this wasteland of Ulan, this is where they come from, uh, you'll see the different colors that they are, but also some of them are stronger than others. And because of that, some of them will give better rewards than others. So let's get started. As the uh, green player, I am looking to power up at the beginning of the game. You don't really start with any weapons to actually fight these, so you are gonna need to pick them up and uh, power up before you're able to do any big damage. Um, but, I'm looking at something which is that my power, or one of my powers, as uh, Katharina Lager, is that I can go to Planet Phyta over here, and I won't have to pay the cost. Now, a lot of these planets will just give you resources. Some of them you have to pay, but you'll get something really cool out of it. If I send one of my ships over to Planet Phyta, I can get a pilot upgrade or a specialist to join my team. And uh, I should also mention that uh, this is a prototype. You know, there's been some uh, development since this version of the copy we made. It, it happens. Uh, what the developers have told me is that with the specialists, there's some uh, slight changes with them. So I've, I've got a little cheat sheet to the side, and I'll just let you know uh, how they work. Basically, a lot of them have a little bit of an extra cost associated with them. Um, for example, the miner. Uh, if I were to get this guy... I could flip this over and I would get one uh, one of these resources, but I would actually have to pay a credit for it, which is not too bad because credits are fairly easy to come by. And because when I'm going here, I'm not spending money, so I'm not losing the money that I would have. And I start with one credit, but uh, uh, because I don't have to pay the three cost here, that means I can get it right away, which is gonna be really good for me. And I've got my eye on this uh, upgrade. This, is, this means that when I use this weapon, which I don't have yet, but I'm hoping to get soon, I won't have to pay one of the two energy that the weapon usually requires. Now I can see the, uh, the weapon is on the market at the moment, and uh, it, it's, this is the biggest gun uh, that I have available to me. It does four damage, costs one ammo and two energy, but if I were to get this upgrade, then it would... Oops, it would only cost one energy instead of two. So that's what I'm, that's what I got my eye on. And I think I'm just gonna go and grab it. Uh, so I take it and I will slot that upgrade into my uh, player, into my pilot section. And uh, because I didn't have to pay the cost because of my personal ability, that means that I get to pass it over to right brain. Well, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, take advantage of your powers. Now I've got some powers too. My powers are gonna be useful in uh, helping me 
kill those mutants. Uh, one of the powers is basically what Left Brain just got from that pilot upgrade. So I need to figure out how to, my, how to get my hands on these weapons. Now this specifically is the Precision Blaster, uh, which is this guy right here. And in order to get it, I need some of these resources. That's one credit and two of these medals. Now there's, a, there's like five different medals in the game. I can't always remember the names of them, so I just refer to them by the color. Uh, so gold and orange and a credit. So I need to look on the board, see where can I get those uh, those credits. Well, if I go to Planet Prim here, that means that I can get uh, two orange, two credits, but also get a radiation. Radiation is not good. I don't want to have a lot of it because if I have radiation at the end of the game, that's negative points. But uh, if I don't, if I can get rid of it, which is not too hard, uh, then I'll, I'll be smooth sailing. So I think I'm going to go to Planet Prim and I'll get some of these resources. So I grabbed two of the orange ones, I grabbed two credits. Um, I now have, oh, I should have grabbed an extra one. So second player starts with two credits and uh, first player starts with one. So I've gotten those two, the two credits and the radiation. Now I, I am gonna wanna get rid of that radiation, but uh, for now it's okay. It's not doing, uh, doing anything too, too harmful for me. And that's gonna be my turn, so I pass it back to left. And now I gotta look. Okay, so I got that uh, that rifle, and you know we gotta power up before we can hunt the mutants. So I'm looking at what I need for that uh, supersonic rifle, and I need uh, two of the black, I need one gray, and I need that white one. I think that's a diamond or something like that. So that's a lot of resources that I'm gonna need. Uh, so it's gonna it means I'm probably I'm not gonna be able to fight as quickly as uh, as right brain, but when I do, I feel like I'm gonna be in a good position for it. So I'm gonna grab, I need to go get those resources. Oh, and you know what? I think I, I forgot to mention is that when you are sending your ships to these guys, I shouldn't be putting them on the planets, I should be putting them in the docks because uh, it fills up the spaces. Now we're playing a two player game. So if you look at these dock spaces, they only have, uh, there's, it looks like there's extras, but that's if you're playing with a higher player count. So as left brain, I'm gonna look at Morax planet over here. I get three of the black resources. Three of the black metals. And that's part of the way towards getting me that rifle. Nice and easy. So I'm gonna go back to right. And okay, I'm still I'm still working on that gun, I think. Uh, what did I grab? I grabbed the uh, orange, I need red now. Oh no, I grabbed the, uh, grabbed the orange, so I need gold. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and there is, there is a place to get gold. Yeah, over here, uh, Planet Kilith. And so I will send my ship over to Planet Killeth. Now, if I'm going here, I get a gold, that's nice. And if I had spent any of my cubes, uh, then I, you know, I would get to recharge one of them, uh, specifically one of my energy cubes. I've got defenses, ammo, and energy. Let me zoom in for this actually. Uh, so each uh, mech has their defenses, their ammo, and their energy, and these will get consumed when you are uh, actually attacking some of the monsters because you'll get hurt, but you'll also use your weapons to fight them back. So if I had spent any of that energy, I would get it back. Unfortunately, I, I well, I mean, it's not unfortunate. I, I'm at full. That's a good thing. It's just that it's less efficient, and I always like to be efficient when I'm playing games. Uh, but that was easy. It was a nice, quick, and easy turn. Pass it back to left. And now I don't have any more ships, but I do have my mech. And my mech will be able to go to a planet as if it were uh, a ship. It doesn't take up one of the ports. It just lands on the planet itself. I could go to the wasteland of Ulan, but I don't have any weapons, so I can't actually fight any of these guys. I'm still trying to get the, uh, the um, materials that I need, so I'm going to go over to planet Paragon. Uh, this gets me a... Uh, Diamond, I think, the, the white resource, but it also gets me a radiation. Some of these planets are yucky, um, but that's a nice and easy turn. Pass back to right, and we're going to do the same thing. Let's send our mech somewhere, but I think now we have enough. Yeah, we do. So we have enough to acquire that gun that we had our eye on. So now we need to go to uh, one of the marketplaces that sells the weapons. Uh, I'm looking for uh, the gun weapon. Here it is, Planet Triari. Um, because it's got the weapon symbol and the uh, utility item symbol. When I go there, which I'll do by sending my mech there, I can choose one item from either the uh, weapon marketplace or the utility item marketplace. There's some really cool stuff here. Um, there's, I mean, when you play the game, all of these uh, items are set out, and if you're playing with more players, a few more items are set out as well. 
So part of the game is deciding like what avenue you want to go to because you have a lot of options available to you. But I don't want the utility items just yet. I, I need that weapon because I need to get a weapon if I'm going to start uh, hunting these monsters. And the precision blaster is the choice for me because, again, I have that ability that makes it easier to use and I've got the resources for it. So I head to Planet Triari. I pick up my weapon. I spend the gold, the orange, and uh, the credit. And now I'm going to slot it into my mech. But there's also something that I want to keep in mind. I've got this little uh, preferred loadout here. And you can kind of see there's uh, a little weapon symbol on the top, on the top left. And there's the star, uh, or the gold star and the pink star. So these are the different types of upgrades in the game. But if at the end of the game I have slotted these exact types of upgrades into these exact locations, then I will get seven points. So I want to start working on that. And I will do so by slotting my weapon into the top left space, matching the uh, diagram there. Now I have my weapon, but that is the end of the round. We've got a pass because neither of us can, can do anything else at the moment. So we are going to do a couple of things. Um, we're going to the maintenance phase. So we've, done, we've been doing the action phase. Now we're doing the maintenance phase, which does a couple of things. One, uh, we're going to move the uh, round marker forward one space. And uh, we each have the option, starting with the first player, to uh, try to buy another contract. That's these, uh, these headhunter cards. Now, we'll start with the first player, and we're looking at what is available. What I'm looking at when I, when I uh, peruse these is what uh, are the mutants that are uh, available to fight at the moment. Because if I can't get the DNA that those require, here, I'll show you a couple more of these. Um, here's another four, uh, four DNA one, another three. If I can't get the DNA that these require, then it's not really worth it for me to pick these up. Um, and also, any DNA I have at the end of the game is going to be worth one point if it's not put towards one of these contracts. So, if I don't think that I can actually acquire this, then I don't really need to uh, get it right now. The other thing is that I don't have any fame, and if I, or not fame, favor. And if I wanted to, I would need to spend a favor token. That's another one of these resources. And you get favors by defeating the monsters, unfortunately. At the moment, neither of us have any favors, so we're gonna we can just kind of skip right past it. And now we need to refresh everything. Um, we've got three new contracts that are going to go up. So just putting those in there. We've also got some new uh, pilot upgrades and some new ooh, interesting and some new specialists. So let's get those guys out. Ooh, there's some interesting ones. This is interesting because, uh, yes, the... So we've got these two pilot upgrades that just came out, and they look kind of the same. One of them is getting you uh, two more of the defense cubes for you, and then the other one's getting you four, but this one does have an additional cost of the two black resources and two credits. So even though uh, one, some of the players will be you know paying to go to the planet uh, to begin with, uh, left brain won't, but others will, then uh, you'd have to pay extra to get that uh, upgrade. But it, it's a really good upgrade, so it might be worth it. Now, the two specialists, we've got the officer and the smuggler. Smuggler lets us land on planets with, where other people have already landed, like we've been filling up these, um, these ports, and, and uh, if you have the smuggler, you can bypass that. Uh, but so far, right now, I don't know that that's really going to be good. But the officer is... Uh, Pretty impressive. The officer lets you unlock one of the extra player abilities or the, the pilot abilities. So if I were to get the officer as right brain here, I could grab one of these two that are not active through my mech. And this one might be pretty good to get because this makes the uh, the black mutants, the black DNA mutants, a little bit uh, a little bit more easygoing when they attack me. It means they do less damage. So. Um, but for now, we've refreshed these things, we've moved the marker forward, we've gotten our ships and our mechs back, and so we look to see uh, who's the next, who is the first player on the next round, and you look to the reputation track in order to figure that out. This has a couple of effects. One, it uh, tells you what the player order is going to be for the next round, and in this case, uh, you look at whoever is farthest back 
in the reputation uh, in the reputation chart, uh, or if they're tied, whoever's on top of the other player. So right now, green is still going to be first player, but as we continue, that is that might change. Um, this also tells us uh, which uh, of these symbols we've achieved, and as soon as we achieve some of these symbols, you'll see there are matching uh, spaces on the board, and so these open up extra like docking ports that we can go to on these planets, but only if we have gotten past those uh, spots on the reputation tracker. And they'll be worth some extra points at the end of the game, depending on how far you get. So, because uh, green is still first player, let's bring it back to left brain, and Let's keep going. Now I'm on I'm on the grind for that gun. That really, really good long gun. So I just need uh, I need a gray resource, which is the last one that I need. So I just need to find the planet that gives me the gray resources, and that's Cillian's planet. Let's send a ship over here. Again, this gets me two of the gray resources. It also would refill one of my ammo cubes, but haven't spent any just yet. So all it gets me is the resources. And passing it right. We've got, okay, so I've got a gun now. So I can go over and actually uh, attack one of these uh, one of these mutants. So let's see what my, well, my, uh, my contract is for black DNA, and I don't actually see any black DNA over there. Um, but it's always good for me to defeat mutants because, one, uh, you'll get uh, rewards from them. Uh, the rewards being things like DNA, favors, and stuff. Um, and two, for me, I get an extra reputation every time I defeat a monster. So I, I'm gonna want I'm gonna want to go to the wasteland of Ulan. Now, in order to do that, I have to send my mech. So I send my mech over to the wasteland. And ooh, there is one thing I could do. I do have three credits. So if I think that there might be a uh, black DNA monster or mutant in uh in this uh, upcoming pile then i could wipe the board i could get rid of these and draw four more mutants so the question is do i think that i will get what i need if i do that or do i feel like it's necessary i don't have a lot of money and i might want to use it in the future so for now i think i'm going to hold on to it i'm just going to attack this uh this little weaker one this uh, blue mutant now when i attack a mutant it always gets the first shot, so it's going to deal two damage to me. And what that means is I look at my uh, player board, and I'm just going to take two of these damage cubes, or these defense cubes, and I'll put them to the side. Um, that's fine. I still have four left. I'm doing okay. And now I need to deal two damage to it. So I'm going to activate my gun. My gun does three damage, but it requires me to spend one ammo and two energy, or it would require me to spend two energy, except I have that power that makes it only one. So I'm going to spend one cube of each of these types. And I'm looking at it. I don't have a lot of ammo, so I might want to remedy that. I need to get maybe one of those, that ammo upgrade, which is up here. Um, but that's that's for the future. Now, I have spent the ammo. I've uh, spent the energy. I deal three damage, which is enough to defeat the monster. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to just put it on my player board for now. At the end of the round, I'm going to get the rewards, but I don't get them just yet. So let's pass it back to left. And, oh, and uh, as soon as we uh, have defeated a monster, we will flip over a new one. So we've got another orange DNA monster. Ooh, and the next one is red. What uh, a red back means is that instead of going to uh, the wasteland of Ulan when we need to replenish a monster, it is going to go to, it is going to invade a planet. And we know where it's going to go because there's this little uh, tracker that moves from planet to planet. And so we know that it's going to go to planet Prim. And when there's a monster there, when there's a monster on a planet, it's blocking it. It makes it a lot harder to get the resources that it provides. But for now, well, if I want to deal with something like that, I am going to need that gun that I've got my eye on. So I send my ship over to the gun planet, planet Triari. Let's get a gun. And I'm picking up that rifle. It's a good looking rifle. And now I look at my my uh, diagram here to see what my desired player order is. It tells me that I want to put the gun here. And now I do actually have a couple of extra spaces. This diagram is telling me where I want to put six of the of my upgrades, but I have room for three more. I could put it like here, here, or here. But since I know I want this gun and it does fit into my little uh, diagram there. I'll just put it there. It works out. It works out great. 
So now that I've got this gun, I need to spend oh, uh, two black, one gray, and one white. And I am going to be in the fight now. But first, got to pass back to right. And let's see. So I've got my two ships. Uh, I could do a couple of things now. I could send my ship to uh, any of these places and you know maybe do something cool with it. But I think maybe I want to do a little bit more fighting. Because I see these, these weaker guys. I can still take them on. I have the ammo. I have the energy. I have the defenses. The only problem is my mech is still there. But one of the things I can do is because on this, on my uh, pilot sheet, my pilot board, I've got two actions that I can activate uh, for myself. No one, no one else can block these actions. They're just for me. I can go here to repair uh, four systems, which means I add those uh, cubes of any color to my four uh, systems or my three systems. And, and so that's one thing I could do. But what I want to do is I want to recall my mech. So I'm going to send one of my ships to this recall space, and that will allow me to take my mech and bring it back to my board. And I'll be able to send this again, so I'll send it back to the Wasteland of Ulan. Uh, but I'll do that next round. Passing it back here. Okay, I see what they're doing. Um, but he's not the only one that can fight. I can get in here too. And I think I, think I will. I think it's time. Now I have a pretty varied... Uh, card that I'm looking for. So I need either black, purple, blue, or orange DNA. I'm looking at uh, the available things out here. There's a, an easy uh, pink and an easy orange that I can go for. Um, so I think I'll go for, I think I'm going to go for the orange just because it's going to do less damage to me. So I'm going to send my mech to the wasteland, Ulan. I take this guy on. He deals two damage to me. Uh, and then I activate my gun using one ammo and again it would be two energy but because I picked up that pilot skill it's only one energy and I deal the damage uh, to the mutant so I'm going to take that as a prize and again now we've got to refill this mutant space so instead of going here we are going to send it to planet prim now we've got a blue guy he's about medium strength so four attack four defense and this uh, the invasion marker goes to the next planet and because we're still in empty space, now we flip over uh, this guy. So there's a, a black monster here, which both of us have on our uh, headhunter card, uh, but it's a little too strong. It's got six attack and seven defense. Now, neither of us can deal seven damage because you only activate your weapon once during combat. So, we're, so if either of us want to take on that monster, we're going to need to beef up a little bit. But let's pass it back to right now. I've got my mech, but I've also got this ship. So I need to figure out what I want to do. I've got a few options. I could send the mech back to Ulan. Now, there is a mech uh, there already, but this space can accommodate multiple players. So that's not, that's not blocking me. But I am looking at this guy that just came up. And I think if I want to, uh, if I want to be able to take this guy on, I need to start powering up. There's, there's another uh, precision blaster that I can go for, and I think it would be pretty useful to get. So I think uh, my best move is to uh, at least start on my way towards being able to afford that. I can send my ship over to planet Killeth to get me a gold, which is, if I remember correctly, yeah, I need a gold, an orange, and a credit for that. So I get the gold. Unfortunately, I get another radiation. It's not the best but that's okay I'll, I'll be able to, to manage and I uh, and that is going to be my turn I still have one more action left because I've got my mech and left rain because they've got their mech out and both their ships they are gonna have to pass so uh, I would pass to them but they pass immediately it stays on me so now I can send my mech out and I can send it over here to you know attack this uh, this pink mutant it's I can definitely take the hit, and I can defeat it. Maybe I should do that just for the rewards. But I'm also looking at, you know, what do I need for the gun? I could send my mech over to Planet Triari and just get that second gun right now. Then uh, on the next round, I will be able to go directly. Ooh, hold on, though. This Black Mutant has seven defense. And so even with both of those precision blasters, I will only be able to do six damage, which is not enough. It's not quite enough. 
So I, th I think in that sense, it, it might be better to just uh, attack one of the other mutants. Or I could try to get some more things. Oh, you know what? I have three money. Maybe I want to get one of those... Ah, I want, maybe I want to get one of those specialists. Ooh, here we go. Okay, I've got a plan. I'm going to send my mech over to Planet Fighter. Now, that cost me three credits. It's a little bit more than I want to be spending right now, but that's okay. Because I'm going to pick up the officer. And what the officer does is it unlocks that extra pilot ability. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to put it down here just so I remember it. Um, because this is unlocking uh, the ability that makes the black mutants weaker. Well, it makes them deal less damage. Um, and uh, since I've got my eyes set on that one, I think this is going to be pretty helpful for me. Also, you know, I've got that, uh, that mission in my hand anyway. So this will work out uh, for me. So yeah, I, I, I've unlocked my third little thing. You know, I'm just going to put a, a cube right there that will just remind me that I have that. And I'll put the officer to the side. So that is going to be the end of that round. So we are going to go back to the maintenance phase. There's a couple things that are a little bit different. Again, we get to look at the uh, mission cards and in player order, we can purchase one if we want um, with the fame. Oh, but first things first, we need to score our uh, our mutants. So each of us is going to get the rewards for them. Uh, looks like the ones that we fought were the same uh, same strength, which means that we're going to get one DNA of the corresponding color each. So one orange DNA for left brain, one blue DNA for right. We each get one favor token, which is actually gonna let us purchase another uh, mission if we want to. Uh, we get two credits each. So hey, spending those credits for the uh, specialist, not too bad of a move. And we each get one reputation. So uh, left brain, gets one, but because right brain has that special ability, which is gaining an extra reputation per monster, that means they're gonna get two. Which does mean that they're not gonna go, uh, they're not gonna go first, they're, they're gonna stay in second, but going second in this game is not too bad. Yes, you can block uh, each other with, um, with your ships, but it's not that big of a deal uh, often, because there's always the mechs that can fit in the second locations. So now I'm looking back at the uh, the missions and saying, do uh, as left brain, do I want to purchase any of them? Well, there are a couple. I mean, I did just get some orange DNA, but that's probably going to go towards my big mission. Otherwise, I would pick this guy up. No, I think I'm going to hold on to my favors because favors um, are useful for uh, a few other things. They're often, actually, almost all of these uh, gold upgrades require favors, and these guys are all end game scoring. So I'm going to hold on to it because I think I might want to use it for them. And right brain, I'm kind of thinking the same thing. But you know what? I've got this one that's only for the black uh, DNA. And I see one over there that, uh, that will give me points for blue DNA. I already have one of those. So I'm going to spend my favorite token. And I will pick up this guy, uh, this second headhunter card. Now I'm looking for blue and purple as, uh, as well as black. And once we are done with that, that's gonna be it. So we refresh everything and we move on to the next round. So let's just grab a few more cards, these guys. Uh, these guys didn't get purchased, but that's okay. Let's get some new tiles out. Here we go. And some new specialists. So there's Oh, it's interesting that both of these came out at the same time. Uh, so uh, we've got radiation immunity system, which will get rid of our radiation. Oh, it's, yeah, again, exact same color as my green screen. Um, and the uh, radioactive guy. This radioactive guy is especially interesting because when you have this specialist, instead of losing points, so normally you lose three points per radiation symbol you have at the end of the game. But if you have this guy, you will gain four points on top of the minus three. So you'll actually gain one point per radiation instead of losing three. So he might be useful to get. And then the banker, uh, banker here, you know, you flip him, you just get two credits. A great way to farm some cash uh, if you are into that. And where's my other yellow guy? Oh, right. Yellow's over here. 
And so we are going back to left brain starting us off again. We've got, oh yeah, and we are in round three. Now, uh, you might notice a couple of the symbols on this round track. There's these like invasion symbol, these red symbols. And that means that at the end of this round, we are going to invade uh, whatever planet is next on the invasion or, or has the invasion token on it, regardless of what the color is of the mutant in the mutant pile. And sometimes this just means you put one out, but if there's a couple of reds in the stack, that means you could cascade and then you are filling up a lot of planets. And when there's monsters on these planets, it costs two ships in order to go to the planet um, if you want to get the resources, or you can send your mech and fight them. And if you, and when you defeat them, you will gain the bonuses as well. And they'll go away and you get the, the, the monster. So fighting the, uh, monsters that come to the planets is very useful. Um, and now I would uh, get started, but we're, we've been going for a little while, and I think we've seen a, a good example of the gameplay, but I also just want to point out a couple quick things. Um, at the end of the fourth round, each of us is going to get an extra ship. That's why these guys were hanging out over here. Um, but at the end of the fifth round, we're going to have to pay rent for all of our ships. Uh, we're going to have to pay three credits per ship we have, and if we don't have enough, we will get debt. And these debt tokens are like radiation. Uh, they are worth negative three points at the end of the game. Uh, and debt, you can't really get rid of. Once you've gotten debt, uh, like sure you can have money, but the shame of being in debt uh, is, is too much to bear. Uh, another thing that might happen is if I, if I was facing a monster that was especially powerful, like maybe this guy who deals five damage, I even though, um, I only have you know the two uh, defense cubes right here. I could uh, face them if I could defeat them, um, but I would take damage. So first I would lose my defense cubes, and then I would take damage equal to the overage uh, that they do to me. So they deal five, I only have two. I would take three damage, and again, like radiation, these guys are going to deal uh, or are going to lose me three points at the end of the game for each token. So taking damage is not uh, a good thing, though you will never actually be destroyed. So that's at least uh, a nice thing to have, a nice little consolation. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about is, uh, so yeah, there's plenty of these upgrades. Uh, there's end game scoring upgrades. There's also, I need to hand over, there's market upgrades. These give you some little uh, trade in abilities. And uh, what was the other thing? Um, that might've been it. So. Uh, I think that's going to be a, a good example of gameplay for you. So if you want to check out uh, what I think of the game, click on the eye in the corner, should be right by my head, and uh, go over to the final thoughts, or you can click the link in the show notes below, and I will see you folks there in three, two, one, bye-bye.